presenting Shark Tank Reviews. Well, we start the movie off with these group of kids on the beach, drinking some beer and probably smoking a little reefer. Two of these kids decide to take a late night swim, but Bozo here can't get his shit together to seal the deal. So Miss Bright Idea swims out to a prime spot to get eaten. I love the setup of this first meal. The shark first takes a couple of nibbles before taking its meal for a ride, tosses it around a bit, then takes a prank before a final go. The silence after all that terrified screaming was masterful. Now let's move on to the next meal in this movie. At about 16 minutes, we see this asshole looking for his dog on the beach. Pip it! Come on, pip it! Come on, pip it! I was left under the impression Jaws had a snack before feasting on young Alex. Oh, and going for Alex's legs, picking up his little body and grinding those little legs until they burst with blood all over the place on a lovely summer's day. Loved it. Straight to the point, gobbled up everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. In this next clip, we have this creepy child molester type trying to help these kids out just before getting his last rites. The timing of that shot is excellent. Jaws cuts through the water with such grace and fluidity one can only find in the Olympics. Yes, you're absolutely right. But I will have to say, leaving the leg behind was a bit sloppy. Wasting food in this day and age is a bit barbaric. I mean, come on, there's too many people in the world going without food. And now for the final meal of this masterpiece, we have Quinn, a salty seaman who is trying to kill our buddy Jaws here. But quickly we see how the tables will turn. And that they do. Jaws bites into Quinn like a gushes fruit snack, and then drags his body down into the depths of the deep blue sea. That concludes our episode of Shark Tank Reviews. Thanks for joining us. Until next time.